Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel uh, and welcome to a, another BMW video. Um, as you will have just seen, uh, when you lock and unlock this car, it makes a uh, it makes a beeping sound. Um, I don't want the audible chime to come on when you lock and unlock the car. That is not a um, that is not a default setting for UK supplied vehicles, so that's obviously been coded. Uh, on this E64 by a previous owner. So what I want to do is I want to code it out because quite frankly, I find it very, very irritating. Um, it's very, very easy to do. What we're going to use um, uh, to do that in this particular video is a Carly adapter. It's very, very uh, quick and easy to do with a Carly without any real knowledge. Um, there's no need to use NCS Expert or, um, you know, be an expert in the use of that kind of software in order to do that with the Carly adapter. It makes it very, very quick and simple. So let's, uh, without further ado, dive straight into it. Okay, so before we begin, what we need to do is we need to connect our Carly adapter to the car. And on this particular car, and pretty much um, pretty much all BMWs, you will find it under here. It'll either be here at the bottom of the A post, or it'll be just under here, um, under the dashboard. And as you can see, there's a little cover. Uh, E46s is the same place. I know uh, the E80 series, it's around about here, and I think it's around about here on the E90 as well. I can't quite remember off the top of my head. Uh, I do have one, I could go and look quite easily. Over here is where you find it, and all you need to do, take your adapter and plug it in. And when it's connected, you'll see some little lights come on on the side. Okay, now what we need to do is take our key and start the engine. Okay, so let's put the ignition in. Start the engine. Let's turn the radio down. We don't need any of that rubbish. Okay, so what I've got here, got me, uh, got me smartphone. What we need to do is we need to open up the Carly app. So what we need to do is connect to the car. This one is a 2008 E64. And then simply, uh, in fact, what we need to do, make sure is, because this is an iPhone app, we need to make sure that we're connected to the Carly adapter. Um, if you use an Android, they connect via Bluetooth, but with the iPhone, you connect via Wi-Fi and as you can see it says Carly adapter under the Wi-Fi settings so let's go back to the Carly app and then simply click connect uh, don't allow that because we don't want that gen 2 we're on cancel that connect As you can see, there's three steps it goes through. Uh, okay, let's try again. <laughs> don't know why, don't know why it didn't work the first time, but it's working now, so we're all good. Okay. Okay, right now what we uh, what we've got here we've got loads of options as you can see uh, diagnostics, used car check, blah 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 blah, all that sort of good stuff. But we're going to go into customization, click continue, check coding possibilities, and let it do its thing. Okay. 
what it'll do is it checks all the ECUs within the car that can be coded and then tells you what um, eff effectively what options you've got for coding within this um, within this car. Um, hopefully you can see the uh, screen on my phone okay. It's an incredibly bright day today, so it's uh, it's aw awfully um, you know there's a lot of glare, but hopefully it's all right. This takes a little while, so what I'll do is I'll skip forward. Um, okay, so here we are. Number of compatible ECUs, 12. That's uh, how many um, different um, ECUs that the car has that are capable of being programmed using this app. Right, so uh, for the um, for the beeps on the key, what we're looking at is the CAS, the uh, Comfort Access System. And then we're going to read out ooh, I'm trying to do all this with one hand read out the cars and then what it's doing now is it's creating a backup of the uh, comfort access system so that if we had any problems we could basically restore the backup back to the car and put the car back to the way it was and as you can see backup successfully created okay so uh, if we look through all the different options here, what we'll find is um, one that refers to uh, somewhere, somewhere there's the, da, 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 I've got to find it. So maybe it's not in that one. Let's have a little look what we've got. Maybe it's in anti-theft alarm. Let's have a look. So what we're doing here is we're creating a backup of the current coding. And then let's have a little look. Okay. So, it's in the, it is in the DWA. Uh, as you can see, audible confirmation, locking vehicle, audible confirmation, unlocking vehicle. I want to turn that off, and I want to turn that off. The optical confirmation is the uh, flashing of the, um, you know, the, uh, the indicators and side markers. We want to leave that on. So, I've turned them both off and click code. Click code, oops, um, and then you've got like some, you've got some warnings. Uh, um, so you, yeah, give them a little, give them a little read um, if, you, if, if you're interested. Click code now. So now what we're doing is we're writing to we're writing the coding. As you can see, coding was successful. Please turn the ignition off and on again. Please do not update the car software. Even if update notifications appear in the car, the default app will not be able to code your car after the update. Click OK. Pressed. Turn the car off. Take the key out. Pop the key back in. And then start the car. OK. So that should be right. So if we... Um, get out of the car and now there we are much better not as garish is it? it was quite annoying I didn't like it at all uh, I'm not sure why anybody would want that function but each to their own 
there we go guys a uh, quick and easy video not uh, not too taxing uh, like i said all you need is the um all you need is the uh, Kali adapter and the app and you're you're away uh hope you like this video if you um did then please you know give me a, a like subscribe leave a comment and i'll see you all again for the next one take care guys bye bye now